You'd think Thursday might be a quiet night in the suburbs, but consider what's on tap at the Green Gate in Camillus. Some of the hottest groups in central New York take over the tavern every week for the Thursday night series, Jazz in the Burbs. Uh, the Green Gate is, is a listening room, so the folks are real good at, they have a good time here, but they're real good at paying attention, and uh, that's the thing that musicians really appreciate. They like an audience that's, that notices the music and pays attention and appreciates it. Music fan Dave Casper books the acts, and he's everywhere, behind the bar, bussing tables, and keeping his customers satisfied. We try to make people feel like they're part of it, they're part of the family. You know, I like to refer to people as the J-I-T-B, the Jazz and the Birds family. The series has grown from four weeks to six weeks to eight weeks. Now they do more than 30 weeks a year, and they've spun off the second series, Jazz by the Lake in the Swinging. Three-time Sammy Award-winning group ESP helped to launch the series six years ago this month, and they continue to be one of the most popular draws, featuring a mix of original music and covers. When it comes to the age-old question of what is jazz, bass player Matt Vacani subscribes to the philosophy of jazz giant Wayne Shorter. It doesn't have to fit into a box. It doesn't have to be a certain thing. As long as it's a creative endeavor and it's true to improvisation, you can call it jazz. I look for really good leaders because basically my philosophy is book a good leader and get out of his way. Casper says Thursdays have become the Green Gate's busiest night of the week. And that's a sweet sound at the till. From Camillus, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. And be sure to tell us something good. If you've got a great story worth sharing, send us an email, something good.